Welcome to SAT 0 to 1. The topic of this lesson is order of operations and the properties of real numbers. When we evaluate an algebraic expression involving more than one operation, follow the order of operations. First, perform operations in parentheses and the other grouping symbols, including fraction bars and the radicals. Then, evaluate an exponent and the root. After that, multiplication and the division from left to right. At last, addition and a subtraction from left to right. Uh, you should have heard the order of operations as PAM does before. And also, you heard me say left to right rule several times because the rule says when several operations have the same priority, like multiplication and division, uh, addition and subtraction, we perform them from left to right. Here is an example. Okay, so in this example, uh, we're going to follow PEMDAS. First, P, parentheses, grouping symbols. And we have all three. Okay, we have fraction bars, we have parentheses, and we have um, radical symbol. So find the result or sum in each. And then E, exponent. We're going to evaluate 2 to the fifth power, which is 32. And uh, after that, we're going to perform division and the multiplication from left to right. And then finally, only addition and the subtraction left, we're going to perform them from left to right. Okay, so the final answer is 43 minus square root of 5. When evaluating algebraic expressions, um, properties of real numbers are very helpful. Addition and the multiplication have several properties that we can use. For any real number a, b, and c, uh, addition and the multiplication are commutative, uh, meaning the order uh, when the, the numbers are added or multiplied will not change the result. They are also associative. So by prop grouping, uh, calculation could be easier. Zero is the additive identity, and one is the multiplicative identity, respectively. A number and its opposite are additive inverse because the sum of them is zero. Uh, a non-zero number and its reciprocal are multiplicative inverse because the product of them is one. Also, we know the distributed property, and it is very, very helpful throughout the course of algebra. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.